Hello there and welcome to my channel. In this video we'll go over coordinate systems in ArcGIS Pro. This video is intended only for ArcGIS Pro users and it is a practical guide, so don't expect any theory along it. However, if you want to learn more about coordinate systems, I have attached an answer video that I found it very useful. Let's get started right now. So I will open the empty map now. And uh, th for this map, we will see the coordinate system which is British National Grid. And I have one shape file which does not have any coordinate system defined. And if I just lower this shape file in my in my map we'll see that this shape file is in the C and uh, ArcGIS Pro pop-ups a window that says unknown coordinate system this can be easily identified by right click on the on the shape file we choose properties and then we go to source tab and uh, if we all open spatial references we will see that unknown coordinate system is for this shape file. So what we are going to do to send this shape file in the right location? Firstly, when you have a shape file, you must have some prior information about coordinate system. Well, in what coordinate system this shape file is projected? If you don't have any similar information, you must ask the person who gave you the shape file or you must check the documentation of that shape file for example my shape file it has a coordinate system wgs 1984 and uh, i have that as a prior information even that my shape file is it does not look in the right location but i have as information so the a quick a very quick step that i am going to do is i will change the the coordinate system of this uh, map. Now, when uh, we speak about coordinate system of the map and the coordinate system of the shape file, there are two different things. So, the coordinate system of the map is the coordinate system where this map is working with. But this does not mean that the shape file will have will have always the same coordinate system. The shape file may have different coordinate system than the map. And we may have several shape files with different coordinate system between them, and we can load everything in the same map. I will change firstly the coordinate system of this uh, map into WGS 1984, and uh, I have already added as a favorite. But this uh, WGS 84 can be found in Geographic Coordinate System World. WGS84. Now, what's the difference between geographic and projected coordinate system? The difference may be a little bit long. In the description below in that video, you will find the difference. But uh, practically, the, the difference is, is the geographic coordinate system are the coordinate system of the globe. So you cannot measure there. You cannot measure distances because they are on the globe so you cannot go from this point to this point and uh, the projected coordinate system are the coordinate system that are projected into a plan so in this coordinate system we have metric coordinate system uh, metric uh, easting and northing so we th that means that we can measure in the projected coordinate system so if i choose wgs84 now and uh, if you see the map is squeezed and uh, the our shape file has went to the right location i will zoom in to see okay so we see all the roads are in the right location if i try to measure now from here to here this di this distance is wrong is not correct because we are in a in a non projected coordinate system so be careful when you use 
up an unprojected coordinate system, geographic coordinate system, for measuring purposes or for coordinates in meters uh, units. So once I choose WGS84, our data went immediately to the right location. Why is that? Because RGIS Pro immediately identified the geometry of this of these uh, shape files and it sends it to the right location. And the geometry of these shape files it is with degree, decimal degree, and not with meters. And once we change that, once we change the map into a non-projected coordinate system, automatically ArcGIS sends it to the right location. Until now, we found the location of the shape file and we we successfully upload it into our map. However, we haven't already defined the projection of this uh, shape file. So if we go again to pro into properties to source, we see that this is still unknown. So if I if I remove this and I drop drop it back, it will still be projected in the wrong location. So for for solving this this issue, we go to geoprocessing. Uh, we expand the data management tools then scroll a bit down, we have projections and transformations. And uh, when, we o when we expand this uh, toolbox, we see that we have one defined projection here. And if I click define projection, now I, I will choose as an input data set roads network. And the coordinate system, if we see, are unknown. And for this, I will open the and for this I will open the globe to select the coordinate system and we are in the same di dialog box that we have seen before so I will just expand the favorites and uh, I will choose as a source WGS1984 remember if you choose any wrong source here automatically the data will be totally in the wrong, in the wrong position if you have any shape file without not a single information, just search on internet which are the coordinate system of that country and try to to define the projection by choosing one by one to see which coordinate system send you in the right location. And uh, now once once we run the tool, we see now that the projection is done. We can identify immediately because we have this warning button here that says that uh, RGS Pro says that uh, the data set has already a projection. And uh, if we go here to properties, to source to the same location, we see that the geographic coordinate system is WGS84. Now it doesn't matter if you remove or bring it back. It has the same geographic coordinate system we go to the right location it has a WGS84 and this can be defined also if we go if we if we browse in our folder we will see one file which ends dot prj this prj keeps or stores the information about coordinate system so if you have one shape file without this file means that that shapefile does not have defined the project, the coordinate system. And if we try to edit this file by notepad, we will see that we can read the coordinate system out there. A small clarification. So why ArcGIS Pro uh, sends the data to the right location if we choose, for example, the British National Grid, which is not the geographic coordinate system that the shape file has, and it's still in the right location. This happened because RGIS Pro has a definite transformation on the fly. So on the fly, whenever you load a lot of shape files, RGIS Pro will transform all the shape files according to the map projection. This this transformation means that WGS is being transformed into OSGB 1936 according to OSTN 15 transformation. And uh, 
if we choose not to transform the data do not transform the data and if we click ok now the shape file is not in the right location so actually this is the right location the real location is this one without being transformed uh, but when the data are transformed then it goes to the right location which is visually because originally this shape file is in WGS 1984 and the coordinates of this shape file all the vertices are in decimal degrees and not in meters and uh, we need to transform this shape file into another projection which we may measure or we may work or we may uh, transform into CAD because as you know you cannot send the data from uh, WGS 84 in CAD otherwise the data will be wrong so you need to project the data before sending to CAD drawings or to different CAD softwares now to transform our data into different coordinate system we go back to geoprocessing we expand again the data management tools expand projection and transformation and we have this tool which is called project on the project this project has the description if we if if we see the pop-up the project spatial data from one coordinate system to another so if we open the project we have now the input data set which will be our road network automatically rgis has has popped up that uh, this is using a wgs84 so then the output coordinate system that we are going to choose is going to be british national grid depending on your data you may need to scroll down and to find your right coordinate system uh, now this is important geographic transformation the geographic transformation normally for UK is already known by uh, RGIS Pro for most countries is already known but and uh, if if I open the drop down we see that there are several but the last one is OSTN 15 how how do I know that this is the last one except that AS3 has it by default if if I go to local authority for special data which is Ordan survey they suggest us to use OS 15, OSTN 15 and uh, they have a set of of uh, data that you need for every type of uh, operation that you are going to use even outside of RGS Pro not just inside of RGS Pro and uh, normally every country must have a kind of authority or a kind of institution that takes care of spatial data so you must go to the to their website and must find the right information about the geographic transformation and I will click it run nothing happened I will just change the color to see that everything is overlay each other and uh, we see that they overlay they overlay because we have the transformation applied so both data are in the right are in the same position but if I remove now the transformation we will see that the red which is WGS84 is projected now in the yellow in the right location so this the new shape file now is holding the right coordinates and it has the metric coordinates that we can export in different other formats or we can measure we can use it for measurement or for extracting the metric coordinates in that coordinate system etc one last thing is that in the raster menu so if you are going to project the raster you have a specific tool only for raster and uh, the only difference here in the raster is that you have a few options about the raster right? like uh, resampling technique output cell etc sometimes it may happen that you have the information you have the WGS84 but you don't know which 
is the right coordinate system for your country or for that place because uh, because let's say not everybody is uh, so familiar with the coordinate system and for these cases Google Earth may help you to identify the right coordinate system that you are going to use so I have opened an empty Google Earth Pro and uh, if you see once I move the mouse around you see here that the coordinate system changed and uh, except that there is a number because before the coordinate system which is going to 31 32 30 so that number is the UTM zone if for any reason here you you don't see these coordinates if you go to tools option you must choose the universal transverse mercator you may have it like uh, with uh, latitude and longitude as I have it now and uh, if you go back to option and you choose universal transverse mercator Google Earth will show you the zone which is with my for my case in UK it is the zone 30 and uh, I am in northern hemisphere hemisphere so I am zone 30 northern hemisphere and uh, for my data I would have chosen also that project so let's do the same thing and let's search now for UTM WGS84 northern hemisphere and uh, here I am the UTM zone 30 north 30 north so this is my zone which is a projected coordinate system now it is in universal transverse mercator and not the national grid I will add this as a favorite now we don't need, need the geographic transformation because we are inside of WGS84 so the UTM is using WGS84 and you don't need to choose a geographic transformation so RGIS by default has disabled that option whenever you don't need nothing has happened actually it has happened but uh, our projection in the map it is British national grid so this means that this is transforming all the data in British national grid and I will choose as a projection now WGS 84 zone 13 north so still nothing is happened except that now I will go to transformation and I will choose to transform the old data into uh, from OSGB 1936 into WGS 84 now the reverse and uh, we see now that all the data overlay each other and we have three coordinate system which is the first one WGS 84 nation British national grid and UTM zone 30 north all in the right location that was all for coordinate system that I had prepared guys see you in the next tutorials cheers